Good day to you lovely people. It is Friday yet again, and this is the Talking Shrimp Podcast. My name is Joel, and I'm joined here by... Hey, my name is Mitchell. Hey, Mitchell. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful Friday. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, it's very robotic, It was it? very robotic, but right, hey. Can I first apologise? Um, I'm ill. I don't feel too well. And can I first say, thank you very much for last week's podcast. Um, your oh, yeah. love and support and everything in between is much appreciated. And yeah, please share it and all that lot. And we'll move away from that one now. Yes, yes, yes. And this is going to be very light-hearted because it's meant to be one hell of a horrible weekend, isn't it? It's meant to be wet, wet, wet. Oh, what a band from the 80s. Yeah, true. Anyway, how are you? You all right? No. How are you? You're real, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You're moaning about your voice. I'm Joel. Oh, I've got a poor voice. I do. But I I feel poorly. He's been moaning about his voice. England won on Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? No. Monday? No. When, When did England win? Sunday. Sunday. England won on Sunday. And Joel literally screamed and shouted so much that his voice, he's, he's, he's hurt his little, little voice. My voice went. And My voice he's went. been milking it Can all I say, week. I, I do indeed have, uh, should, should we go sexist? We'll go sexist. Fair enough. We'll go sexist. Oof. I've got man flu. Why is that sexist? I don't know. Just is, isn't it? I suppose so. I don't really know. I can't say the opposite. I'm not going to say it because it's, you know, I'll get cancelled. So I've never yeah. heard of it, the opposite. I'm not going to say it. I've only ever heard of man flu, but to be fair, that is what... I don't even know if you have that. You've just been moaning about your voice. Anyway, I'm going to drop a bit of a spoiler here, but we recorded a video, didn't we, this week? We did indeed record a video. A very spooky video. A ghost hunting video. Oh, ghosty. Don't don't know when it's coming out. Don't... No no, no pressure yet. Which is coming out first, the video or Mitch. Sorry? Sorry. (laughs) What the hell? (laughs) Sorry? (laughs) We'll leave it there. I will not discuss my sexuality right now. Three we minutes into the podcast. We don't need to. We all know. Anyway, right. Fair enough. Um, yeah, so yeah anyway. we recorded a, a really cool video um, at an undisclosed location. We did. Video. And basically all I was going to say was, it almost didn't happen because this little prima donna over here was see, moaning about his voice the whole time. See, and going off last week's podcast, Mitchell should be really sensitive to uh, my feelings and he is not being very sensitive. Why? Because you've got a bit of a sore throat. I push through. I'm a trooper. I should be given a medal. And you wouldn't have. You you were you were but what happened? It all day. What happened? It was a good video. We did it well. was a very good video. And and here's a little insight. Listen to the podcast before the video comes out because I'm alone. I go solo. You do solo. That, that was a big spoiler though. I probably wasn't going to say anything about. It, but there we are. No, doesn't. I'm not. I'm not. I haven't said what I've done. Yeah, all I true. did was I drove true. there by myself. That's all what happened. Well, that's a lie as well, because you didn't even drive that by yourself. Oh, you spoilt it now. Well, yeah, exactly. But yeah, well, there's there's some new stuff. It's a new new location with new ideas and um, I, some I, new new equipment. There you go. I will say it's probably going to come out at the end of the month, if not the start of next month. Yeah, there's the plug anyway, so, so it, go enjoy that. <laughs> You've got to wait like three or four weeks. But yeah, uh, we did say there'd be another ghost video soon. But whilst it is football, Euros and England are still currently... Well, they will be when this comes out. In uh, yeah, we've got a big Euros. game. We, we've got a, tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're going to be milking football because we Toblerone against yeah the Swiss team. Yep, and we are definitely going to struggle. We will. Yeah, we will. But anyway, enough. We about won't football. talk about. We've football. banged we, on about. Football. We talk about. We've football done quite a lot of. Um, oh, we're talking about football. Different. There's a there's another football video coming out on Wednesday. A part two. And then another football video coming out. Yeah, on, but that'll on be Wednesday. the end of the Euros, and everyone will be like, "Oh God, that's done." Yeah, and then we might have a GTA video coming out as well. There we yeah. go. We fully just there. You go. That's the plug. That's anyway. the the plan for the next few weeks for this for you podcast. All to look to. Is sponsored by. No, it's not sponsored at all. We wish it was sponsored by. Oh, I want to say I am brew, but I haven't drank it in nah. probably about three months. It's actually been about on Saturday. It was eighty six days since I had a fizzy drink or alcohol. Congratulations! Thank you. So it's I don't know what it is now. This we're currently recording um, this on. Mine is hang on about forty eight minutes. <laughs> what did you have? <laughs> I had Pepsi. Pepsi fair Max. Uh, fair enough. Can Please. I just say something? You said something so outlandish yesterday that I can't believe my ears. Um, we were. Uh, are you allowed to say it on the podcast? We were in B and M. Oh. We were browsing for some goodies to take into the cinema. As you do, the cinema, where you get a drink and snacks, there you go. And, and the drink of what? my choice was... A Dr. Pepper. It was, a can of Dr. Which Pepper for 60p. Which, I you know, do not have an issue with. You, you made much. a solid choice. Thank you very much. But then the statement you made slightly after that... 
Yeah. Is what I have an issue with. I said, and I can quote myself here because I was there and I know. Um, <laughs> I said, you know what? I think Dr. Pepper might be better than Pepsi Max. I'm going to say, I don't even think you said, I think. You said with chest. I didn't state you, the fact. With chest well, said. I didn't because my chest is full of snot right now. But yeah, sure. <laughs> you you yeah. said Dr. Pepper is better than Pepsi Max. Nope. I, I, Dr. Pepper is better than Pepsi, is what you said. Well, Pepsi and Pepsi Max are two different things too. So Yeah, and I know you pre- preferenced Pepsi Max over Pepsi. I don't Pepsi. think that's an outlandish statement. Something the Dr. Like... Pepper one is, I think. No, okay, no, all right, I'll recall. No, if it's I was not to say that something like 7 Up is better, then you'd oh, be yeah, like, that, yeah, oh yeah. God, that's fine, no, mate. Please. We're, we're fine. We're wee, fine wee, wee. What was it also we said? We were talking about fudge. What did we say about fudge? Oh, the fudge yeah. chocolate bars. Yeah, basically the selection pack that you get at Christmas. Everyone gets like that little stocking filler of like the the Cadbury bars. Okay, you get like the normal Cadbury Can- bar. You get some buttons. You get the fudge. You get a double decker and stuff like that. Curly yeah. Whirlies. Curly Whirlies are bang average. Oh, they're not. They're though. fine. They're not. They are absolutely fine. They're not. They're, they're just- better than fudge. No, 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 they no. Are. They are. No, no, no. Wait, j- fudge. scrap all the videos that are coming out. We need to do a a, a, ch- a hot ranking video hot on ranking chocolate bars. Video. That's what we need to do. Oh, God. It's been a while since we've done a hot ranking video. The last yeah. one was the biscuit video. Do you know what I tried today, day. actually, saying about it? This is chocolate related, too. It isn't going off topic. Go on, uh, I tried a Japanese um, snack. I, it begins with an M. Um, and it, it, it tasted like uh, chocolate in rubber, is the best way I could put it. It's really weird. Uh, it's like a rice snack thing from Japan. Tried it today. It was okay. Thank you for that. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> wait, so wait, what? Not what? like a Mikado or anything like that. You don't mean like a Mikado? One of them, like. Does he play for Villa? No. No. Oh. No. Like one of them sticks that was like a bread stick with chocolate on it. Not one of them. No, no, no not one of those. No, it was, okay. it was like, it was like, um, how do I put That's it? That's what I was thinking when you were describing the, the, it. The, the actually picking it up was was the texture of right picking it up. Uh, I had a little squeeze of it because it was squidgy. It was like picking up a hamster without bones in. Is the best way I could put it. Because hamsters are oh. squidgy, but they have bones that obviously you can feel. Like one of them things when you're a kid, that when you try and hold it, it just runs yes, out of your hands. Exactly and then you're trying to grab that, it constantly. That texture. And, and it felt like that in my mouth too. Uh, yeah, and then you put your finger in it. Yeah, and out of context. This yeah. all sounds very inappropriate. But it's not. It's not. It's actually wholeheartedly. It is wholeheartedly. We're just talking about And would you like a wholehearted toys? story to kick off the podcast with? Sure, sure. we've Is definitely kicked off the podcast quite far in already. Oh, well, here we go. Go on, then. News. Go here on, we go. A six-legged dog was found abandoned a six-legged... outside a B&M in Pembrokeshire. Pembrokeshire. Um, however, Ariel, as the dog is now called, oh. um, has settled into her new home very well. She enjoys swimming, paddleboarding, and surfing. Her owner tells Sky News. There you go. How could you abandon a dog, though, man? To be fair, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna say it. Nana Pat, trigger warning. Fuck you, people, if you abandon a dog. There you go. Out there, done. End podcast. There to be fair, I, I wouldn't have thought uh, a creature with extra legs would be too out of place in Pembrokeshire. Whoa, that's that's. Outlandish I'm making to say. a joke. You're not. You you, you, you didn't even smile. <laughs> that, that was fully committed to that. <laughs> it, you, it took me a while to think of it. That's why. Honestly, I'm basically trying to say that if you're from Wales, oh oh oh, oh. that's all I'm saying. <laughs> wow, you just you didn't go just Pembrokeshire. No, like no, no. Country that is in Wales, isn't it? Pembrokeshire. It's like southern Wales. I think so. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, it's like the the like southern, southern coast, coast yeah. of Wales. Well, you I was making a there. joke. Cancelled. There you go. Bye bye. Oh. Um, if you'd like to send in new applications for a new um, co-host of Talking Shrimp Podcast, we'll hear from you. That's not a problem. Send them in. Well, I say I'm cancelled now. At I don't I'm care. Done. Outlook.com. Oh, I don't care. At what? <laughs> uh, please apply here at Outlook.com. Yeah. Um, if you'd also like to see Mitchell Lewin volunteer himself to go in the jungle, I'm a celebrity. Then please email us too. At what? I'm a celebrity. Get me in here at Outlook.com. Yeah. How do you know? <laughs> we tried. <laughs> I made the account. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, back to the apologies for the back to dogs. Yeah. How joke, can you but... abandon a dog, man? Yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? Dogs are the best. Dogs, dogs are the we've best. said it time and time again, but dogs are the best. Well, you they know, are hand on heart the best animal ever. Well, it's like our closing thing, isn't it? That we say at like the end of the videos and stuff. Please tell your, you know, your family, yeah. your friends, and your Please pet dog, dog 
Um, because we just love dogs so much that why would you not wholeheartedly tell them about your favourite podcast, The Talking Shrimp? Yeah. So, so if you've got a dog with you right now, pause this podcast and go take it. Walkies! Go take yeah. it for a walkies! <laughs> Don't pause it. Walkies! <laughs> oh, who wants a treat? <laughs> oh, God. Who was that to? The dog or the... Okay, right. No, uh, that's to the person listening. Exactly. <laughs> Good God, man. Oh, no. My dog would go mental. All you have to say to my dog is, you just have to count down. It's yeah, I go, tried that, so it was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you got in before, didn't you? And, and I said, just count down from three. Yeah. And then she went, three? And he was like, he goes, full oh, light what light am I doing? Queen, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Two, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. Dogs are class, anyway. Is that, is it, got anything else that was my story. I, I just, I, it was like a, how could you abandon a dog? But it's got a new new <clears> home that is now loved. more loving, exactly. And it's got yeah. six legs. I think we're just glossing over that point. Yeah, I kind of yeah. want to see what it looks like, to be honest. Uh, I think it's like a dog with two extra legs. Uh, do you know what? That's how I pictured it in my head yeah, too. I, yeah, I don't think it'd be. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they work the extra legs. I don't know, but um, it'd be good off road. Off road. Yeah, it's got the extra legs for traction. <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> it's like a. Is, it's like is a, that how a tank works? It's like a truck, isn't it? Like uh, a dog's like a truck. Like a sixteen wheeler truck. They've got more wheels to get a better traction, so they can. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I, I get you. I, I understand this. No, it was a joke. Come on. You meant to laugh with me. Well, you, you left. <laughs> you, 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 you abandoned me on, on um, the thing I said, so I'm abandoned. It was your you. choice. No. He's making reference to the video coming out in a couple of weeks. Yes, it's just part two. Any, yeah, anyway. Would you like an ick of the week? We haven't done this in a ick while. Ick of the week. Yeah, we've talked about a lot of icks. I'm... I'm here for Do you it. know what was Nick before? Me asking if you wanted a treat. Oh, that, that, that is was icky. an ick. Yeah, yeah. And when I scored a goal in the recent video that if you haven't watched already, please go and watch. Uh, what What's it called? Amateur... Am- what did we... What did we Isn't it like something drill? Yeah, football drill, but there I can't go. remember what I, what I called it. Yeah. Something amateur. Some podcast amateurs, called, amateurs at play or something like that, I think it's called. Yeah. The new video anyway, the new Talking Shrimp video that's just come out. Yeah, Mitch scored a... Uh, Unique goal. Oh, it's horrible. It's disgusting to watch back. Basically, you crossed the ball into me. I touched it down with my gut. Uh, and then it rolled away slightly. And I True. did like a little step over shot that was... It, it, it wasn't as painful when I, I was there. But watching it back, I can see what you mean now. But yeah, yeah I mean, where... it wasn't painful. Well, it just... you crossed it into me and nearly killed me. Yeah, so... you fully took that one in the throat. Yeah. And annoyingly, it's just off camera. It, yeah, yeah, just. Yeah, but you so can hear it. You could be lying. Well, I, I, yeah, I could be, but I'm not. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. Do you know why? Because I was Cause there. You, sorry? No, I was there. I thought you were going to say because you made it up. Oh, no. Why would I, that's such a silly thing to say. That's your saying. That is your That quote. is actually quite a good quote. That's I your think. legacy. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think we should do merch. Who thinks we should do merch? Put your hands up. It's true because yep. Joel May from the Talking Shrimp podcast made it up. Yep, exactly. Mate, if anyone was going to get a, po- a quote or something, it was going to be you, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Well, I don't know. Over me. Over the two of us, it was going to be you. Oh, I don't know. I, I bring different things to the party, you know? Yeah. And Monster Munch. I, I say that in the, part, in the, <laughs> in the thing. Even you, if you guys don't enjoy the video. like we, <laughs> Oh, the chat that's going on. I, I haven't got a clue what's going on, to be honest. But yeah. I say, like, oh, I really enjoy Monster Munch. I don't know why it was on my brain. And I'm pretty sure I went to Tesco's after and got Monster Munch. I think you did, actually. Yeah. I've got a feeling you did. There you go, bit of backstory. Anyway, Ick of the Week. Sorry, go on. Fully just moved away from it. Uh, I've got one of three. Pick a number between one and three and I'll read four. you. Uh, actually, there, uh, fine, number four. There is a number four. You, you've, <laughs> you've fully thrown the spanner in the works Matrix. here. Matrix, right, go. Do you want Ick of the Week, number four? This was, in, well, a submitted by a viewer. Yes. Or listener. Go for it. Adjustable trousers. Hold up. <laughs> you do have to hold them off. <laughs> no, not that sort of hold trousers. <laughs> but I'm t- sorry. Uh, like three quarters that unzip, or shorts that unzip. Oh, uh, yeah. I oh, they give you like geography teacher vibes. Yeah, don't they? yeah. like or dad on holiday. See, I've got yeah. a bit of a confession to make. Oh no, he's wearing some right now. I went for- liar. <laughs> he's not wearing any at all. <laughs> <laughs> I went for a hike a few weeks ago. He did. Big hike. And I wore trousers. That, that 
could unzip in the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and I fully unzipped both of the knees and then just started, like, wobble like a Muppet. <laughs> so you could just see my knee through the trousers. Okay, yeah, it was that's icky. disgusting. That's icky. Yeah, it was so that. icky. I even felt icky doing it. But... <laughs> Yes, no, the, uh, the 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 main ick here is just three-quarter trousers. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, I understand that. Three-quarter I... trousers just scream 2013. Yeah. See, but I, I did two icks um, as I came through the door um, earlier. I did two icks in uh, a row. What, to my house here or what? No, 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 at my house. I, I walked in earlier and, oh, post on the floor. I went to pick it up, I couldn't pick it up. I went to pick it up again, I couldn't pick it up. Oh, because you, you, your stubby fingers were just like I, just, I couldn't get underneath the, the, the thing. So yeah, Fair I enough. So I eventually did. I was, I was brave. I did it. Um, and then as, as I put it on the side, I was like, oh, take my shoes off. And as you do, I, I'm not I'm not going down to my laces. So I'll go for the heel. You know, oh, flick. dear. One, bang. Nothing happens. Oh. Two, bang. Nothing happens. I wouldn't... Third one, bang. Lent on the bounce. It fell. <laughs> <laughs> I slept. My hand slipped. I, I sat on the stairs. And I chose to not take my shoes off and go on my phone out of sheer Seriously? embarrassment. Yes, <laughs> so you just I was the only one around. I was the only one at home. Ah, oh, fair enough. I still, you chose to not continue with what you were trying yes. to do. Get out your phone and just. Yes. That's like me. Too fair. You do that sometimes, don't it? You're yes. like, oh, I need to go do this. Hold on a minute. Yeah, and do you know what? Let me just well. get onto Instagram. I haven't. Then... I haven't taken my shoes off. I instead took my sh- shorts off with my shoes on, <laughs> and then just put some new shorts That's on. That's Nick. Why? I, I don't know. I just did trying to with your trying shoes to get your sh- like your, especially if you're wearing trousers. I was actually better at that than taking my shoes off. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't surprise me. Oh God, <laughs> God, it's Randy Orton here tonight. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not Randy Orton, mate. I'm just just Good saying. Lord. Anyway, yeah, adjustable trousers, zips, anything like where you can remove your trousers. Wait, what am I trying to say here? Make your trouser length shorter or longer yeah. with zips or three quarters. Just That's generally three quarters. That's a bit icky. There you go. That is Ick of the Week for today. If you have any more, or if you have an Ick that you've noticed mm. of one of us, or your partner, or just generally noticed in human dis- humans, uh, then please send it in. Instagram us. We want to know your Icks. We want to know what keeps you ticking. Yeah. Keeps you icking. That was an Ick. That was a bit icky. That was Yeah, icky. I was waiting for something to come along, like yeah. a slogan. But there you go. There we are. Gabby slogan. There you go. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, I rate her too fair. I think she's quite a good commentator. She's alright. Yeah, she's right, she's yeah. fine too fair. Slogan Paul. Right, anyway, keep going. <laughs> Sorry, stop now. <laughs> the difference is, I laugh at your jokes. With my jokes, you just stare at me. Like I've made well, like a hate crime. No, no, no. It's just, it's, I th- maybe you try too hard. No. No. You try too hard, you keep pushing, then all you hear is... <laughs> What's that? Not even a proper fart, just a... Oh, you've never heard me fart. I've heard you fart. Yeah, you're silent and deadly. No, I've never fought. I can tell a story right now if you Go want on, to. Go on, you can do it. You can do it. That's yeah. fine. It's fine. Uh, you can do it. Okay, we... It wasn't a fart, just for it clarification. Wasn't a fart. It may, I wish it was. It may as well have been. <laughs> it was <laughs> nuclear. <laughs> yeah, fair. We went to Liverpool um, just after COVID, and it was the first gig back, and we decided to celebrate in, in great British fashion. So it was in Liverpool. We went to Spoons after the gig, had a few few bevies, and um, walked around the docks, had a few more bevies. We, we were merry. We were happy. We were enjoying life, right? Came out to the hotel, went to sleep. Got up the next morning, ready to take a shower and leave, right? So, Mitch, first one, gets up. Always up first. Early bird, yep, Always fair enough. You. Don't mind that. I'm on my phone. Yeah, no, I'll wait for you, mate. No problem. Watching Loose Women on the TV. And, you're, um, you're actually probably asleep when I woke up, to be honest. But no, I'm good, to be fair. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Right, right. And, um, yeah, he, go, he goes. And, um, yeah, I, I don't need a shower. I'm thinking, oh, okay, mate, well, you know, he's doing his business, his, his morning deeds. I did have a shower, didn't I? Not straight away. No, no, I was gonna say. Um, but yeah, you 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 sat on the throne and um, good good time, good amount of time. Oh, yeah, I was solid time. In a, while in the morning, like, yeah. a good ten ten fifteen, maybe something like that. Your legs going numb, <laughs> and um, he came out, and his his face was just, it was it was quite white, it was quite bland, quite clammy, quite pale, and all he said was, "Mate, I'm sorry." And as the door opened, all I can describe is. Out of all the smells that you could fathom, the most unholy whiff came out of that toilet that day. It was as if a rat crawled up Mitchell and died, and then he pooed him out. <laughs> there you go. That's exactly what happened, and it was the worst smell from you I have ever experienced. It was bad. It was very bad. I don't know what I'd ate, but it must have been I, I was bad. slightly, like, 
surprised and, and, and quite like overwhelmed, but also wanted it was to just, applaud. It was just like, it wasn't confined to the bathroom as well. Like the door opened and oh, it, just, it, it, it had to breathe. I'm it su- had to get out oh, there yeah. to breathe. I'm, it was like, <gasps> yeah. oh, it's freedom. Crazy. I actually saw it move from the bathroom and walk <laughs> out of the room. <laughs> I'm surprised the hotel manager didn't come out and say, is everything okay in here? Who's died? <laughs> yeah, it, was, it wasn't great. It yeah, really it was wasn't great. So there you go. Anyway, off uh, the poo topic. There you go. I must have had something bad anyway. But there we are. Yeah. Um, um, what was I going to say? I had something to, for you. I had... It, that, you add something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, hold on. Let me yeah. <laughs> let me get myself ready for this one because this one blew my mind the other day. I was thinking. I watched a chipmunk on TV earlier shove six nuts in its gob and run, want, run away. Do you know what's mental? Mate. I watched a video on YouTube earlier hmm? of a chipmunk. Of yeah, sure. Oh. I was going to make a really inappropriate joke, but innuendo, bingo. There you Basically, go. sorry. So you watched a chipmunk do what now? He shoved six nuts in his gob and ran away. It's fucking impressive, that, isn't it? To be fair, yeah, I've seen similar videos on the internet. Oh well, interesting. Of of uh, other rodents? No, no. Oh. Well, that's weird. Anyway, um, yeah, strange. <clears throat> um, yeah. If the voice in your head is you, oh yes, yes. Who is listening? Who says who who sits there in front of me and says to my face that the voice in my head is me? Because I can tell you it's not. What? Who is it then? Because Greg, Greg Davis. When you... <laughs> it's Greg Davis. I can't even. I was going to try and do an impression of his voice, but I don't, I don't even think I can. No, I, no. It's, it's Greg I can't Davis. even think what he's. Th- all I can think of is when he does little Alex Horn like that. Yeah. That's it's the that's, Alex Horn. Yeah, that's all yes. that's in my head. No, no. Think about it. When you when you're sat just. In a world of your own, at some points, and yeah. your 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 mind's wandering, yeah. and you're thinking of things, that voice in your head is you. It's what you hear your voice as, right? Not necessarily. Do you, do you know what? Our mind I, is. I don't necessarily agree with that because I, I, I don't think it is. Well, whose voice is it then? I can't tell you. It's my secret. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> I actually it's don't my know. My best I... friend. <laughs> my imaginary friend. Um, no, I, I I don't know, uh, but I don't hear it or, or think of it as me. Really. Oh, yeah, that's strange. Really. That that I just thought everyone had the same like intrusive hey, thought in their head or, or voice in their mind that was them. Like I noticed myself. Hang on, just let me think. Sat... Hang on. Go on. Oh, there's a helicopter passing. No, it's definitely not me. No, no. You doesn't see, you can't like just do it like that. You can't well, I just, just think. Did. I told myself something. No, no, it well, doesn't can, work like that. You can't prove it that has I to have. Be, you have to not be I thinking have. about it. It's like when you try and think about breathing. Think, try and <gasps> try and breathe normal. Listeners at home. Breathe normal. Ah. Don't forget how to breathe now, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All like blinking and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you it's mean. like, oh, God, now you've said it. Now I'm, like, yeah. I'm blinking like an idiot. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. No, like, in your head, your voice inside your head is you, no? No. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? No. Oh, I or, damn oh, imagine That's my first swear word. Yeah, sorry, Nana Pat. Sorry. Um, no. Okay, here's a question, though. Going off that, if you could change the voice, who would you change it Morgan to? Morgan Freeman. Why? Would you? Yeah. I would change it to uh, Professor, Professor Doofenshmirtz from Phineas and Ferb. I, do you know what? Before you even said it was from Phineas and Ferb, I knew that was going to be from that. Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, it's like totally get annoying. But I think Morgan Freeman would as well. The thing is, I don't know what Professor... Are you sure? No, no. I know what Morgan Freeman sounds like. I, Professor what was his name? Professor Doofenshmirtz. I don't know what he sounds like. Do you want to try and do an impression? Oh, God. My boy, hang on. <clears throat> I'm going to try. For anything for the shrimp, right? Oh, bad in the platypus. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know if that was good or terrible. I have no idea. It was idea. awful. Um, what was it? Okay, wait, hold on. I'll try and do my Morgan Freeman. Uh, like, oh, no. Why not... are you running? <laughs> He'll be like, yeah. He lo- yes. I don't even think I can do it. No, now. go on. You, you commit to yeah. it. No, because I'm thinking about it too much. It'll be like. Uh... I can't even do it. I literally can't even get Morgan. Do, do an impression of Morgan Freeman again. Oh. <laughs> Oh boy, let me let <laughs> me that, tell you a story. That was when Andy Dufresne. Nope, I don't know. No, I'm just going Andy for like Dufresne. Shawshank Redemption, but he it's just not happening. He became a man that day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's a hard one. I think I can do Kermit. Go on then. Not too loud, please. Move away from the microphone. Why, Miss Piggy? Miss Piggy, what are you doing over there, Miss Piggy? 
And see, earlier this week he was moaning about his voice. He even moaned today when he showed up I'm, my house. I'm He's like, oh, mate, trooping I through it. it. He's like, I don't know if I can do a podcast today. No, he didn't say that. You are a silly bitch. That's what you oh, are. God, yeah. what the hell? My yeah. name's Mitch, Throwing not shade. bitch. Throwing shade at you. What the hell? Out there. Yeah, exactly. You over there. What yeah. is your name? Honestly. Do you know what's something that we haven't ever discussed on this podcast and it's kind of a mental? This could go one of two ways, couldn't it? Well, all right then. If you're thinking that, what do you think I'm going to discuss then? I don't know. Could be, it could be absolutely anything. It, We've hardly discussed anything on the, these 45 episodes of the Talk Show podcast. It, yeah, by the way, uh, happy 45th episode. Yeah, we should Crazy. really laugh out 50, but you know. Yeah, well, we will maybe do something bigger on the 50th episode. We'll probably make not. it to there. We'll probably just be like, oh, hello, welcome to the Talk Show podcast. It's episode 50. Yeah, we will do it if it's yours. Yeah, that's, it, it will be mine. Every single one. There we go, it will be mine. And there that's what, exactly what I'm going to do. It meant it. The only, the only podcast I've done different for an intro was the last episode. And if you haven't listened to that already, please do. Yeah, numbers, facts, figures, but there you go. Um, anyway, how did Nelson Mandela die? Ooh. I'll lean back in my chair. Well, why, why, why would you want me to answer this? Would you want a funny answer or not? No, I want you to try and answer it seriously. How do you think... What, well, what I'm, do you I'm th- just going to say a standard, like, oh, I don't know, dementia. Okay, fair enough. Most go. people believe that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the 80s. Right. But is in fact incorrect. Yeah. He became president of South Africa. Yes. And then later died in, in, in 2013. Of dementia. I don't know actually know if it was dementia. If to be it is, I'm, I'm, I'm mind blown. not going to Google yeah, yeah. it. But yeah. But now commonly known as? What? Nelson Mandela disease? What? The Mandela effect, what? you know, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on the whole topic of how he's died. No, no, no. The Mandela effect. We, I don't think we've ever discussed this on the podcast, have we not? Yeah, have yeah, we? we have. Yeah. Have we? Yeah, we definitely have. Well, yeah. whilst that was this topic oh, out the we? window for me. Whilst I'm Nelson Mandela. Anyway, the reason I want to talk about it is, uh, as I discussed earlier, I went on a hike recently. Yeah, and what I fucking take a hike. No, no, I'm joking. What the oh, hell? Oh, there's another one. Sorry, not a bad... The... Mess- message always you keep having a go at me so I'll have a go at you I almost swore that's why I said message yeah I just chose a random word Ooh, anyway let's get a bit hot in here I'll just unzip my knees <laughs> <laughs> hold on a minute I've got to pull my three quarters off <laughs> oh no they've got wet let me just take them out and dry just, you wafted either, either shins they're off, horrible off mountain. I went to a charity shop um, oh when was it you were there you came with me I went to a charity shop I was there it was, there. Like, it was like um, like a, a a bin sort of thing, a basket full of like shorts, men's shorts. Oh. And I went in there, I was like, oh, these look quite cool. Lifted them up, they were three quarters. I was like, oh, no, no, they're not. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I was there. Exactly. That. Anyway, that was that story. Anyway, anyway, anyway. The reason I wanted to discuss the Mandela effect yes. was because I, in my head, yes. was doing a, well, not in my head, I was doing a post on my personal Instagram about yes. going for a hike. Mm. And I was trying to search for the hiking emoji, you know, the man going up a rock face. Walking up a rocks. Right. Turns out, it's not an emoji. And never was. No, I didn't... I, I don't think it was. See, I did. Oh, I can I, like, in my head... Is, had the guy with, is it the bank robber? That's another one, isn't it? That people think is an emoji, but never was. Oh, really? I've not heard yeah, that there's one. there's a few oh, that, really? that are weird that you... Ah. Yeah, I can't remember which ones. It's like Pikachu's tail as well. That's another thing. Ah, that's... The, I've, Everyone yeah. thinks that it's just yellow, but it's got a black bit at the end, or something like no, that. No, I think it's the other way around. It's I the think other people, way around. Or, I don't know. You know, you might be right, actually. That sounds right. Yeah. But it's probably wrong. But yeah, anyway, yeah. so there's meant to be this, like, hiking... Well, I thought there was this hiking emoji, and it's... There never is. It's, there's never been a hiking emoji. There's a, a oh. person rock climbing, and there's a person walking. But no one hiking. It's a shame, Mental, man. anyway. It's a shame. So then I went down a rabbit hole of searching for other ones, which oh, then that's loads, one. isn't there? Yeah. yeah, that's when I found out so about... The, the well, Monopoly I'm, guy as well. The, the Monopoly the guy, yeah. You've got his monocle. Yeah. Uh, the mascot of the Monopoly brand. Yeah. Um, he's often yeah. remembered as wearing a monocle, but he actually does not. No, no, no. There we go. Uh, Luke, I am your father in the oh, movie Star know. Wars. No. Luke, I am your father. However, the actual line is, no, I am your father. Yeah. You never say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Kit Kat logo. What does it look like? Spell spell the Kit Kat logo fully. What do you, what do you mean? Spell the Kit Kat logo. Spell the Kit Kat logo. Spell Kit Kat. K I T. Yeah. Dash K A T. Wrong. Kit Kat. Doesn't have a dash in it. Kit Kat, oh, and its See, logo proven. is just Kit Kat, no yeah. dash. 
Oh, Pikachu's tail. Yeah, Pikachu's tail. Uh, it does have a black tip. believed that the black tip at the end, but it, Pikachu's tail is actually all yellow. So ah. there we go. It was the opposite to what it you said. It was the opposite. There you go. There we are. Fruit of the Loom logo. Don't know what this one is. Hmm. Some remember the logo featuring... Uh, what the hell is that? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, I did hear a few others. Yeah. Who it's, knows? I don't know what yeah. that says. Sorry about that. I don't know what that last one was. Yeah. But anyway... Yeah, the, the Mandela effect. That's all I wanted to ask because of the, the hiking one. And I've learned a new one about the robber one. I'm going to have to do yeah, some I more. Yeah, think, I think that's a thing. I don't know. I don't know. But This is how it starts. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, Take your shoes out in the back of my van. That's robbers, isn't it? Uh, she says my shirt looks so good. No. Sex. Damn it. Well, how does robber start? Oh yeah, yeah. Four four notes. There you go. Look at that knowledge, eh? What's the first lyric? She says, "Babe, <laughs> you look so cold." Yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's enough of the nineteen seventy-five. Anyway, we will talk about music for a minute because we have been to two very very big gigs actually, outdoor events at two venues that we haven't been to before. <clears throat> yes, we have. Yes. Very much so. And um, yeah, the first one, Green Day. Green Day, Old have Trafford Cricket this? Ground. I don't know. I think we might have mentioned this. Well, I'm going to mention it. Anyway, and the second okay. one being Foo Fighters at Villa Park. Foo. Ladies and gentlemen. Foo, Foo Fighters. Fighters. Yeah. yeah. Um, props to the guys behind us for saying that about 10 times oh, throughout the night. It, the joke's funny. But when you hear it about 40 times throughout the gig, yeah, not really funny anymore. No, I don't think Dave Grohl actually hears it. And if he did hear it, I don't think he'd laugh. So No, no, no. Anyway, yeah, do we... Do we yeah, we went to go Very see... Very good, I enjoyed both of them. Uh, I probably enjoyed Foo Fighters more. Um, I have to agree. Yeah, and not, not anything on Green Day, I just I just enjoyed it more. That was the first time seeing Foo Fighters at a Foo Fighters gig, is the best yes. way I could put it. Because uh, last time was the Taylor Hawkins tribute, um, so sad. So, mm. yeah, they were very good, smashed it. Uh, Villa Park, yeah, I'd go there again. Um, Green Day, Old Trafford, Crick Ground. Uh, potentially, it, it's not the best ground for me. Uh, standing, yeah. Um, but seating, no. The best way I could put it. Villa Park seating, pretty good. Yeah. I'd say. I mean, we were sat right at the back um, for the unreserved seats, and yeah, good view. It was fine, fair. wasn't it? We probably could have stayed there the whole gig, but we chose after the support acts to go and find yeah. an area more in. And to I'm be honest, I'm very glad we did too. Yeah, it was very, very good. I knew we'd fair. enjoy it more once we did. I was just being lazy after yeah. a long day. Yeah. But, um, no, it was, yeah, it was good. I have to agree. I enjoyed Foo Fighters more. Um, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I think. Because Green Day was so good the first time we saw them, yeah, I, I already knew I wasn't going to enjoy Green yeah. Day as and much. And I, I think the audience was better at Foo Fighters as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, which yeah, they were a bit of shit, is. weren't they? Oh, I swore. Sorry. Too, sorry. Too all, I think, that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, um, no, I agree. I also good. think that I know more of Foo Fighters. See, I don't. So that's the thing. I probably knew more of the Green Day set. Yeah. Possibly, actually, because they did play a lot of songs I didn't know because they played the whole of... The Dookie album and the whole of American, American Idiot, Idiot album. Yeah. But I, I love that American Idiot album. I literally knew every song off that album. Yeah. It's very, um, very good, isn't it? But yeah, very good. It was very good. I probably would see Green Day again. I don't know if I'd see Foo Fighters again. So I'd probably be the reverse of that, to be fair. Yeah. But yeah, I think I would definitely recommend if you haven't seen either of them, um, yeah, go watch them. Yeah. Well worth it. It's one of those things like if you're debating buying a ticket for a band, especially if you haven't seen them, just do it. Do it. I mean, we, we've gone to like tons of gigs we, we've said loads like in what episode four of this podcast um, yeah i yeah. think i regret a handful maybe what, not even going for two not, gigs yeah not not for like i wouldn't change and be like oh i, I wish we didn't go to that one but mm. um yeah i, I mean, don't think there's a big gig i regret there's some more, there's little gigs that i regret yeah no i not, agree not big ones no i would say um but yeah, for the money, I mean, yeah, go and enjoy it. It's really good. There's there's very little that could go wrong with a gig, in my eyes, if you do it um, a sensible way. So, yeah, true. I, true. I do I do agree. Yeah. Just I was getting flashbacks to returning to a broken car with the back window smashed in. Uh, and, again, and the if, stuff you, if you do it a sensible way, learning. Well, curve. whose idea was it to move the car from the secure car park? Who has their own mind and could? Well, have who gives in to their mate because they trust their opinion? Oh. Hey. Well, on that humble ending. <laughs> no, we're not ending on that. Mm. All I was going to say, yeah, all I was going to say was, there's only sort of like one gig I regret that I haven't been to. What's that? Paramore. I'm I'm, yeah, annoyed at myself for not going to see Paramore yeah. on their most recent tour. And now they've gone like 
all over the country and world with Taylor Swift, and I yeah, just like, oh, I'm just getting Paramore all over my TikTok, and I'm like, I just want to go see them now. I wish I'd seen them. Yeah. And next time they tour, it'll probably be like a stadium, and there'll be a load of Swifties there. Yeah. That don't really care for Paramore. Well, no, that's not true. But hey. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I've Ooh. seen a lot of hate towards them. A lot of hate towards Paramore because of. Well, being all I can say is Taylor Swift. Support. When when we saw Foo Fighters, mate, Dave Grohl, he was singing live. That's all I can say. All I can say on the matter. Well, you make no reference to anything there other than something that Dave Grohl said that yeah. didn't make reference to anything else. Yeah, but do you see that? It hit at home with quite a lot of Swifties. Um, but then as everyone's defending Dave Grohl. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, though, I'm 99% sure that Taylor Swift and Dave Grohl get on. Yeah, I am no, pretty they do. sure that they get on. Well, I don't, I don't think he was making a joke at Taylor Swift not singing. I think he was more just oh. referring to he has a live band and like all, everything there that happens. Uh, he it's, literally makes reference yeah. to they caught, they're caught all in there as the Errors tour. Yes, because they yeah. make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. I don't think the joke was aimed at Taylor Swift. That like, well, I yeah. think it was a little bit, but I think yeah. it's just a bit. Of a it's tongue in cheek one. I think they're they're friends. But Who anyway, really cares? Yeah. let's be honest. Yeah, it's not that heavy, man. I, I'm that um, team team growl, mate, all the way. To be fair, I reckon Dave Grohl. To be fair, did you see he was at Wimbledon? Uh, yeah, he looked dapper. He, he looked did. Well good. Although I got to say that like... picture didn't do him justice. The one that was doing the rounds of him, just like Fine. like that. His like, <laughs> neck was really far pushed forwards and he had sunglasses on. They were, like, Again, another face. another reason for uh, videoing the podcast there. Yeah, because I just like, did like a neck went full pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> He's still going full pigeon. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think um, I'm looking forward to the next couple of videos. We've got a few uh, more football things coming out and then we've got a few different things uh, for the summer. So I think if you've got any ideas, let us know now because then we can do some more. Uh, videos that you want to see um and work out kind of what what does well what doesn't do well and what you guys want but um yeah we've we've, we've uh, broadened our horizons the best way i could put it well so looking well, forward to we, it. we already knew that didn't we i mean we started this whole thing as a podcast which we're doing now um we did a couple of ghost videos that did okay and all that lot and then we just chucked a couple of like gaming videos because we like gaming um and then we've done like a pack opening video and a few other things and Think, you know it's what what we found interesting and yeah we'll keep doing that but if you've got any ideas that you'd like to see us do then by all means throw it our way we're open to ideas we've got quite a lot coming up um so it might be a while before they come out but hey yeah that's that's life baby I don't maybe know we should do that, a wager how do you mean what do you mean a wager like pink slips you know if someone pays us tenner, we'll do the video idea. They That's not suggest. what I meant. Is that, is that what you meant? I will do a lot for that. So <laughs> if you pay Joel the tenner, he'll do pretty much anything. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think if uh, we put something on the line each, and um, we have to do something to get the others. I've already thing. said, if this becomes my full time job, I will get a shrimp tattoo. Yeah, uh, no, I, I agree. That's but my I'm, wager. That's not going to that, happen. That's my wager. Soon. So what I'm saying is. I feel like we could do a wager for something else. Go on. You're going to have to give me some premise. Well, I, I don't know. I've got ideas. That's why I'm giving it to the oh, audience. Oh, I see. Well, so, like, if, if I don't complete something, you have to go buy I a have hamster, to do this. You know, something like I that. don't want a hamster. Well, I don't either, so... <laughs> <laughs> we get a hamster and call them shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we are. So, yeah, we got a lot the of videos coming up. in the world to ever have an identity crisis. Oh, what? He looks in the mirror. He's like, <laughs> I'm not I'm a, a shrimp! shrimp. <laughs> I wasn't born into this body. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, if, oh my God. What's his name? Italian Batch? Italian Batch? What? Yeah, the, the TikTok bloke. What, the... The pack opening guy? No, 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 oh. no. The the guy who does a lot, of, like he does quite a bit with sidemen and uh, stuff like that. And, and he does yeah. like TikTok videos where he pretends to be a hamster. And he's like, I'm just gonna like, I'm giving reference to one of his videos. He's like, I'm gonna die now. That's it. <laughs> and he just pretends to be a hamster yeah, in videos. That's, that's all that happens. Isn't yeah, it? that's the hamster. Like that is. Yeah. that is what hamsters do. That is what hamsters. Like, do. Oh, my brother's died. Guess I better die. Yeah, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, hamsters are funny animals. Anyway, yeah. we full circle back on hamsters. So we'll it's animal podcast. Animal podcast. I don't yeah. think it is the animal podcast. We spoke briefly about a six-legged dog. I made a joke about Welsh people being inbred, and then you whoa, s- you fully <laughs> said it now. You fully said that. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. They're not. I'm half Welsh. Half being the operative word. <laughs> half. Being, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, true. But if you want to see Mitch walk into Wales and say that exact sentence again, let me know. I will scream it on the border. 
on the border now. I want you fully in Wales, mate. There you go. A herd of sheep running at you, like you can't do that. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, there we are. Yes. And th- any final messages? Uh, I hope by the next podcast, I am talking about England being in the next round of um, the Euros. Well, hopefully by the next podcast, we're saying that England will be in the finals. Yes, it will be. Yes. Um, if if it's not, by any means, um, I th- you I might th- not hear from us for a while. We might be in a bit of mourning because we've put our heart and soul into the Euros, unlike Gareth Southgate. <clears throat> and, and, so. and this time next week, we would have seen Catfish in the bottom end. Hopefully, hopefully for their return gig more like catfish in the bottom man yeah true <laughs> nice good joke the plural's gone isn't nobody they? steal that that's Joel's joke there you go, have <laughs> that's that. property of the talking shrimp should we call it that catfish in the bottle man yeah I don't think that's a very good episode name catfish but... in the bottle jobs <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be fair they bottled their last gig and I wouldn't be surprised if they bottled this one as yeah. well to be fair so. yeah definitely yeah there's a lot of rumours that they're not actually going to do this gig their return gig or... can Van McCann do it can Van McCann do it on a sunny a, a rainy night in Liverpool yeah do you know he's a test you baby there you go I'll end the podcast is he actually yep, <laughs> yep. that's the Welsh in him uh, again, again, I'm not saying this. I don't know this guy. I'm not with him. If anyone wants to start a podcast, I'm gay, mate. You're, you're what, sorry? Gay. Yeah, no, he's coming out. God. There's nothing wrong with that, actually. I didn't say there was. 2024. Do you want to go I for a didn't full, didn't like, say there was. No, you, you called a country a specific name today that I'm not going to repeat. What, inbred? And again. <laughs> and again. The only bread I like, mate, Kings Mill, 50-50. Love That's it. like me. 50-50. And back to Mitch's sexuality. <laughs> what the no? No. Oh, and on that disgusting end, all jokes made are just jokes. Go give your dog a hug. Go tell him to listen to Talk Trump podcast and go take him for a walkies. Yes, if you enjoyed this episode, please go tell your family members, your friends, and of course, your fluffy pet dog yes. and your hairless cat if you have to. But hey. Yeah. We're open to ideas. Anyway, it's been lovely talking to you again. Have a nice weekend. Cheers, mate. Up the Euros, up England, and apparently on behalf of Wales, up Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Thank you, God our bless. Welsh audience. Goodbye. Goodbye.